What's up, everybody? My name is Michael Lee Murphy. You are watching The Brothers Murph, and uh, this is why I play board games. This is something that we've done a few times uh, throughout the year that we've done this, um, where uh, we just like to talk about, like, why do we play board games? Why are we here? Not necessarily why we're, like, uh, making content, because we all know that's for the money! No, but seriously, why do we play board games? Uh, what about this hobby brings us back? Why, you know... Why? 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 Um, and uh, this past week, uh, we went to Dice Tower West. This formerly is MeepleCon in Las Vegas. Dice Tower West is kind of forged with the people who put on MeepleCon to to bring it under the the Dice Tower brand and and uh, have a, a a con on the western half of the U.S. Rad. Uh, it was. Fantastic. It was such a fun convention. They did a great job for their first year uh, in particular. Uh, it had a lot of the energy of MeepleCon, just with a little bit more scale to it all. Uh, so it was very fun, very uh, gaming driven, like we were all there to play games, something I really appreciate versus like a Gen Con, which is like super fun, but just kind of this madhouse and everyone's trying to like get the things and whatnot here was just like, hey, let's just all sit down and be board gamers together, including all those Dice Tower folks. Uh, like, that's what they wanted to do too. Everyone was just there to sit and play games, which was like super duper rad. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about that. Like why I play board games is for those convention moments that you get. Um, I had a great time. Um, I, I definitely played games. I played a lot of games, um, but all of the moments that I could readily think of that were the most meaningful, impactful and stuff were just when we were all having human experiences and human moments together. Um, whether that be bumping into somebody, someone coming up and saying hello, who has seen us on the Dice Tower or wherever. Um, that was super amazing. Thank you to everyone who said hi. Um, but like just more and more as we play games, uh, it just reinforces the idea that it's about the people. It's about the connection, something that Nick and I have been incredibly... Uh, lucky to have helped develop and have developed around us is this amazing community of people. Like when we went to Dice Tower West, we had squad in the house. We were rolling deep. There were so many people who uh, like hang out with us on Twitch, who are in our Discord. Uh, you can check out both those things, by the way. Seamless plug. Um, like just these people who maybe we've met a couple times or or not even met, uh, who we just like kind of were able to jump right in and like be having a great time together because we've we've experienced life together. We've we've talked about real things. We've talked about good moments, bad moments, uh, heavier moments, and we were able to just carry that over into our real life interactions at this convention. Uh, and this all culminated for me. The most meaningful um, was there's a person who who watches us a lot, uh, who comments. It's just super funny, um, charming, just a mischievous man. Uh, and, and he, uh, we had never met in, in person. And so I got to meet him and that was fantastic. But then one thing that a, a friend, uh, another bing bong team, bing bong person, I'm trying not to name names and stuff. Cause I want to re respect people's anonymity. Y'all know who you are. If I'm talking about you, um, said like, Hey, this person has a daughter who, uh, he cares a lot about, um, someone he's a, he kind of adopted as, as his own. And, uh, she's a really big fan of yours. She really, and she's like a wee one. She wants to meet you and stuff, and and uh, so um, we got to have that arranged for us. Where uh, they weren't in the conventions, they couldn't come into the to the convention main hall and stuff. But we were able to obviously go out into uh, the public, and uh, and we got to arrange this meeting, and it was just the most uh, sweet. Um, there's lots of us here because it's just um, you know it. It's like emotions aren't meant for words. You know what I mean? So it's. <laughs> It's hard to keep the words going when you're feeling. Um, uh, so we got a chance to meet this person and she was just incredible, shy, cute, funny, um, just a perfect kid. Like it reminds me like, oh, why I've gotten such a kick out of working with kids all these years, even though that was never kind of the plan. It's just kids are incredible raw beings, you know what I mean? Who, who are just, um, it's just nice when you're not self-aware yet. Uh, so we got to have this amazing interaction and I just got to, to see this little family um, while kind of um, they were all kind of there for us or whatever, but to kind of step back and just see like how these people loved each other and how much they cared. And especially you see uh, this guy who um, 
just loves his daughter so much. Um, it was incredible. Like he, he got her to, t to tell us like when our schedule was and she knew it and she, you could tell she was proud to be able to tell us that. Um, and it was just like, it just like absolutely filled me up it, just to the, to the brim, you know, with just uh, kind of hope for the world, just seeing like, oh man, like there's so much true love in the world and stuff. And, and uh, board games were able to help facilitate this incredible moment where like we were invited into uh, their family for a minute. Like I know that wasn't the point, but like I just got to watch these people and like it was incredible. And you get to see that throughout the whole convention. We got to see people being awesome to each other and talking and laughing. There's hooting and hollering as you're playing some game and stuff. Some people over there are having like the best time, like creating maybe a moment that, that will stick with them for the rest of their lives. Uh, and like, I just, for every moment where you're kind of tired because you're staying up too late playing games, waking up too early and you know, there's tacos that are available 24 seven cause you're in Las Vegas and it just, it's this, you know, the sort of drain, um, just to have moments like that were incredible. And then right at the end of the convention, we got to have just another quiet moment. There was no one left in the hall. It was <laughs> completely empty pretty much. And we just got to sit and, and have a moment with some people um, who are near and dear to, to Team Bing Bong. And um, uh, it, it was just like one of the best moments because it was just a quiet m moment where we were just being people together. Uh, so sorry, this is incredibly rambly and I apologize. Um, but just that moment again, I got to experience was, I'm just so lucky. I got to see that just to see like, Oh, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you be a family right there. Boom. Right there. Cause that's the heart of it. And like, you can get through whatever struggles you go through if you keep that intact. So that was really cool. Thank you for sharing that uh, moment with us. That's gonna be it for me guys. Anyway, the long way of saying is why do I play board games? The human connection, you know, and going to these conventions, for that, like you'll always get a chance to play games that you never got to play. We totally get to, did get to do that. We're going to talk a little bit about that uh, tomorrow in our best of the week. Um, but like for all those great game moments, there was even more and better human moments. Anyway, thank you for going on that uh, wandering journey with me. Uh, why do you play board games? Put those in the comments below. What keeps you coming back for every frustrated moment? Uh, in life or in board gaming, like why, what do, what does board gaming provide for you? Why do you like to play board games uh, other than they just rock so hard? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to us, I'm Mike. Uh, I'm more concise sometime, sometime, not ever really, but sometimes. And uh, you can give us a subscription if you like what we do here at the Brothers Merp. Thank you so much uh, for joining me today, everybody. And I'm out. I'm just done.